Our first speaker brings to us a story of success and the abrupt challenges brought on by mental illness. It is a story that many of us may have either experienced personally or may have known someone that definitely can relate. Our speaker captures a willingness to be supported through his emotional disturbances and a, and a determination to be resilient. Please welcome with me Robert Langell. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Well, my name is Robert Langell, and I'm here today to share my recovery with you. I own a nationally recognized, very successful landscaping company for 29 years. That's 29 years. I own two homes and enjoy the finer things in life. I have been suffering with depression, anxiety, suicidal ideations for quite a few years, but I was able to hide my symptoms from everyone I knew. I told myself, I'm fine, just work through it, pull your bootstraps up. As my depression got worse, I had a hard time finding my, hiding my symptoms from my friends, family, and my employees. My depression and anxiety got so out of control I couldn't function and was not able to keep my business going. What happened next was devastating to me. I lost my business, I lost my two homes, and even my identity. Back on a nice warm spring day in 2016, I can still remember that day like it was yesterday. I was coming downstairs to my office and saw Judy. And Bill, my cousin, at the door to my office, Judy said, we've come to help. They explained to me that I needed help and they suggested I go to the hospital. I was in that hospital three different times. Excuse me. I was in the hospital three different times in the span of only five months. Something's wrong when you gotta be in the hospital three times in only five months. I needed support once I was discharged, but I didn't receive any until I was a master in the hospital. My social worker had referred me to DMH. Sandy Willett. To my right was my case manager. Sandy was so supportive and a great advocate for me. She went out of her way numerous times to help me, from picking me up from my EZT treatment to Norwood Hospital, helping me receive my social security disability, and giving me hope with all my issues. I was facing homelessness and living in a shelter when my seat property was to be sold. I embarked on an aggressive housing search. I filled out over 14 housing authority applications, contacted over 20 private party departments, but with no avail. I received back not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven housing authority letters stating that there was a five to seven year wait even though I attached an emergency application due to my impending homelessness. Getting these letters back made me furious and very discouraged. What am I going to do now? At the same time I was looking for housing, I was admitted to therapeutic respite program in New Bedford. Jonathan Silver and his staff were so helpful, caring provide much positive reinforcement. My personal resilience and willingness to work with DMH has enabled me to achieve my goals. I found an apartment at the Kushner Housing Authority. It feels so good having a roof over my head. In conclusion, having accomplished my goals and objectives 
gave me back my self-confidence and self-esteem, which has contributed towards establishing new goals in my life. With a, new, with a renewed outlook on life, I'm focusing my energies on returning back to work with some retraining, possibly with support from the Mass Rehab Association, and looking forward to owning my own home again one day.